Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm in the deck profile, my B Trooper DPE Turbo deck profile that I won my locals with. It's very similar to the YCS builds, so I'm just going to kind of jump into it. Playing three Retaliating Seas, this card is absolutely insane when it resolves, being a macro, and the fact that it surges you your follow-up into your next turn, or your starter, if your hand is. And I think it gets better with the Brave Token existing, since you have more ways to resolve this card. Then Triple Resonance Insect, the card you're typically searching off the Retaliating, plus the card that lets your deck do some pretty crazy stuff. Searching when it's sent to Grave, and also dumping when it gets banished. Double Goki Poles, which is what you usually dump off of the Resonance Insect when it gets banished. And then the Resonance Insect searches usually will net me the Doom Dozer first, so you can banish the Resonances to dump the Goki Poles. I also play... Godarla as a target in the main deck because I don't want to lose to towers game one and it's searchable So that's really cool. And then I'm currently playing the one mighty Neptune I'm probably cutting this as soon as the next event happens I'm gonna be playing this for the regionals my next coming Saturday So it's probably gonna get cut for like a main deck token collector or something because of brave engine plus sword soul and stuff Card is okay. The recycling is nice, but you don't always end up going into that anyway And it can be a brick so we're gonna definitely cut it for a regional event Two Sting Lancers, the other card that you search off of the Resonance Insect going to Grave, this card is just nuts because if DB hits your opponent's graveyard, you just send it back to their deck and it doesn't get to come back out. So that's cool. And then yeah, just interrupts Graveyard deck and the fact that it searches your B Trooper Descent, which is another extender since it summons a token. That's Insect, you get to climb more and stuff. It's really, really cool and you get to search on your opponent's turn. So you have even more follow-ups to do if you summon the Sting Lancer as an interruption. For the B Trooper lineup, Triple Scale Bombers, your Kagemucha Knight of the deck. Really cool card since it also has a built-in Ghost Ogre effect. Then one Assault Roller. This card is the better Aztecope, the in archetype one. So it's very good since you can actually normal summon the card and it actually has a one destroyed effect. You can search the B Trooper monster from your deck to your hand except for itself, which is really cool. It never really comes up, but if it does happen, then you get like a free Sting Lancer. It's really nice. Then moving into the Battle Wasp engine, the triple Sting the Poisons for your very very solid starters that searches you your extender in the form of pin the bullseyes also staying the poison has that tribute another insect to target and negate some monster effect which comes up when you especially off of stuff like the papillon on your opponent's turn really really good card and pins your extender that summons itself from hand and burns for 200 for each copy of itself on the field hard once turn on both then the one arbalas the debris dragon of the deck really good card to just have as a follow-up. Then the DPE engine, the triple fusion destinies with the Dasher Celestial. Self-explanatory on that one. And then the deck plays a lot of hand traps. Triple Emperor, mind playing. Two Ash Blossoms. I cut one to make room for the Neptune and have double nib. I cut a nib to play the Gadarla. I think nib gets a little weaker with the Brave Token engine, so being at three isn't the greatest thing. But it's kind of funny though that you can dash your special nib and just have a 3k beater for free. Double Lancia hits a good amount of decks, hits the PK deck, Rogue decks, hits a mirror match. It comes up pretty often, even Sword Soul. Your shotgun is starting like the standby phase or something. Moving on to our extra deck now, we have the one DPE, the heart and soul of this deck. The one Verite to summon to dump your Fusion Destiny. Then the Almirage, which is a pseudo starter when you normal summon like Resonance Insect and then link it off for Almirage and then continue your plays from there. And then I play one Link Spider for the fact that they play a token, so it gets you to like your Verite, or if you get nibbed, you have another effect monster as well. So, yeah two armor horns very very good card since it gets you your plays being an extra normal summon and a follow-up being able to summon itself from the graveyard both once per turns and then the one insector link you get the combo you get the combo if you're not afraid of nib and or hand traps you go for it if not it's just there to recycle your extra deck monsters usually one hauk placing the poison helps you like on your follow-up turns usually or if you go second to just climb into the access code play and the one win since we're playing a lot of win types and you can steal 
stuff from the bird matchup and other things like just draw to link climb as well. Then one unicorn are way to out some boards and then part of the link climb to access code since access code's pretty nuts and a lot of cards, yeah, that's their primary purpose in this deck. The two papillons, which functions both as a link climb to get us out of the insect locked, plus it just serves as a like going first card where you can special summon the monster level 4 lower insect defense mode from your graveyard to so, like I said the sting the poison or like the uh, Kagemuchi Knight of the B Trooper one that is the ghost ogre. Also summon stuff like your resonance whatever you just you know to get graveyard effects going on your opponent's turn to search for follow-ups is really really nice. Then our link 4s the one atlas our big boy usually don't sit on it but Use it to tribute itself off to special like the sting the poison search the spell that the descent and then kind of go from there but it can actually just be a boss monster in certain matchups like striker where they have to work a little hard to out it and then one apple since you can make it it comes up sometimes where you just want to make this so you don't have to play into monster effects in hand or like on your second turn, you can just go usually with this plus one other monster. Or usually, your, if your sting lives somehow, then you just link it off for a four, an apple if you're afraid of something. If not, you just make the access code. And it is what it is. It just comes up sometimes, situational. And then, as I mentioned a lot in this video, the access code talker, the thing that lets you just OTK your opponent and helps you after you establish your board game one or turn one, you just get to kill them on your second turn. So. Last but not least, our side deck. I am playing one Insect Knight. This is supposed to be like at least a Girochin or like a Killer Bee for the bird matchups if they do statue. But this is all I have right now. I did order one, I just forgot to pick it up from the store when I went last week, so we're still playing it. I might even cut it though, going into the regional and the last event of the format, just so I could play more outs to the Brave Engine and stuff, so might get cut. I'm currently playing the second Godarla. I think this is also getting cut because it just is underwhelming. Most situations where I'd rather have more blowout cards. And then we already have the one in main deck to search. Triple evenlies to out back row decks along with two cyclones to hit sites and stuff. Basically is kind of all it's really there for. We don't want to just hard lose to a artifact site at least have a way to draw into or at least a card that we can draw into to play then when we go first against stuff like Swords of Wolf, Triple D Barrier and other rogue decks and mono summon decks play the one IO for going first when we know they're playing a spell heavy deck might as well play it before it gets banned then two token collectors we're definitely bumping this to three in some way shape or form going into the format since Brave Engine has token and Swords of Wolf has token so even the mirror match has tokens, it comes up. Then double dark ruler to out like bird boards and stuff. And that was the entire deck. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.